What's up, squad? So we over here at Mondawmin Mall in Baltimore at the DTLR. About to check out this Dorn Becker release for today. The line is kind of in two directions. Two directions, we're gonna see what happens. I don't know, it's not looking great. got on feet today. All right, y'all, so success up in this Dornbecker release. Um, wasn't sure it was gonna happen like that, but got two pair of the threes, one four, a personal one for homie. So we're gonna see what's happening, but good, we uh, had some success today. All right, squad, we are back in the lab. Thanks for stopping back through, rocking with us. If it's your first time here, do me a quick favor, hit that notification bell down below. And if you've been here before, thanks for rocking with us. We appreciate you. We love the support, vibing with our content. All right, so we were able to acquire these shoes, but this review is not gonna be a typical review because it's one that has a deeper message and meaning. It's not just, oh, nice colorway, uh, what do you think of it, rated, whatever, right? So this is a shoe that has a lot behind it, a lot of design elements, a lot of detail, and a big story. And, you know, kind of touches my heart because it's a, you know, design in, by Nike in conjunction with Dornbecker Hospital, um, OHSU, and their program is Freestyle where these kids with some rare diseases, some terminal illnesses, get to help design the shoe. This pair is the Air Jordan 3, designed by Hugo Molina. Now, little Hugo Molina is 14 years old, and he's uh, he was born with a rare disease called Clippotrinone syndrome. Now, that's a syndrome that causes one half of his body to grow faster than the other, right? Differently. So he grew up with this type of syndrome, this disease, um, he also gets like splotches all over his skin and, you know, he was picked on in elementary school by, because elementary kids do what they do. Um, but he put a lot of motivation and inspiration from his life into the shoes design. So we just want to get into it. Um, you know, really dope, like a lot of elements and I'll talk through those as we go through the shoe. All right. So here's a picture of little Hugo and his story. And I'll say, you know, for all the things that Nike does, you know, they've raised over $33 million for the OHSU Dawn Becker Hospital and these, these patients, um, you know, since this program started, I think it's been, they've been doing this now like 19 years, which is a long time. So, all right, back, now we're gonna get into the shoe. You got that blue freestyle box, blue freestyle on the top, on the lid, freestyle on the paper. It comes like taped down with a freestyle sticker. And then we get into the shoes design, right? Now, you probably have already seen this shoe. And clearly, this is a shoe that they made adjustments to, like the Georgetown 3s, right? Now, I actually have the Georgetown 3s. One of my favorite pairs, actually. A nice, easy-to-wear, dope pair of Air Jordan 3s. Um, and when we look at this shoe, a lot of, lot of deep detail. So you see the green paint slime and <laughs> dripping all over the shoe, right? You got that Georgetown 3 leather upper, the same navy in the gray and the cement print. And you got a, a white midsole, actually black and it's, it's all kinds of color, black, white, and then of course this lime green. So Hugo, let's start there. Hugo is a huge Seattle Seahawks fan. So he wanted to do something that would match their colors. So, I mean, this is a great, you know, adaptation, right? To drop rock with your, your Seahawks gear or whatever. I'm not a Seahawks fan, but if I was, this would be a shoe that'd be a must have. Um, he's a huge fan of like gaudy jewelry. I don't know. So they've got his actual initials, you know, big H for Hugo. That's actually plated in 24 karat gold that you can take and put that on the actual chain if you wanted to wear this. Um, but that's, you know, kind of what they gave you with the shoe, pretty slick. Um, and then they give you this green slime paint. His nickname, let's, let's go there. His nickname is on the back of the shoe. His nickname is Juice, all right? So the drip, where I thought it was slime or paint, 
he said it's just really just, you know, the juice dripping off of the shoe because that's his name. So he wanted to give it a drippy motif uh, to go with. And then when you look at all the green, this is more like a plastic. So if you look at the tongue, you know, it's pretty cool. You got the Jumpman in navy blue outlined in white, but this is a plastic all around this, like nylon. Everywhere you see that green is not leather. So that's different. And then on the back, where his name is, you've got this kind of translucent um, collar, translucent heel, heel tab. Um, it's got a Jumpman, his name underneath, and then your traditional, you know, top part there. Um, and then again, green on the midsole, traditional leather. Um, it came with extra laces, so you got gray, like some kind of gray laces there. And they came with lime green laces as well, as you can switch out. And then on the sole, so I talked about him being bullied as a kid, you know, made to feel different. Um, he kind of applied and learned a lesson, which I feel like in sneaker dumb, in this sneaker culture, we need to probably take a lesson from Hugo too, because he said it's okay to be different. And this is a 13, 14 year old kid. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to be different. That's from a kid, from the mouths of babes, they say, right? But anyway, <laughs> back to the shoe. This is a translucent green, so you get that writing underneath, which is dope, and that's on both shoes. It's okay to be different, of course, there. And then another hidden detail. So on the back of the tongue, he's got my hero. A little space there you can write in. My hero, mom, and dad, right? That's from Hugo. But then there's a blank one on the other shoe for you to write in who your hero is. Now, if that's your mom or your dad or your, your spouse, your kid, whatever, you can write that on the back of your shoe. Um, I just, you know, I think overall there's a lot of dope touches on this shoe. Um, I saw some videos of the design process, you know, when he was chosen to participate in this freestyle program. Um, you know, of course, really emotional. These kids are there at the hospital just getting treatments and, you know, trying to survive. And then they get chosen to be creative in this space to really do something you know meaningful and help raise funds raise awareness and so forth um just pretty dope man pretty dope and one more detail so on the tongue of the shoes no i'm sorry on the insole of the shoes is some beach scenes here right so that's the beach and that's actually the bahamas which he wanted on the insoles of the shoes um, because his dream is to go to the Bahamas. Now, I would hope, you know, by this point, with all of this and all of these design touches, somebody from Nike said, here, guy, Hugo, here's to you, your family, go take a trip to the Bahamas. I'm assuming, hopefully, that happened. Um, but again, nice creative touch. Overall, clean, clean shoe. He's released, you know, for 210 bucks, um, December 2nd, and I was able to cop in-store Again, the, you know, the downtown locker room, um, snipes in certain areas, certain geographies, I had these in store. So it wasn't all of them. I'm in the Baltimore area. We had one store that had them, uh, had them here. I know there was a store like a snipes near Philly. I think they got them in store, but uh, check DTLR and, you know, their site. They had this, the list of what stores they were available in. Um, but that's it, man. I think, you know, overall this shoe, it has a lot of deep meanings, a lot of special touches. Um, this is a 10 and a half, so I wasn't able to get my 11. But again, I already have a pair of Georgetown 3s. Um, would I get a pair, cop a pair for myself? Sure. I mean, I think this is a, a statement piece. You know, it's not like a regular everyday type of shoe um, that you're going to wear every day, but something for sure to add to the collection. It's, it's dope, you know, really dope. I'd give this probably a solid uh, eight, eight and a half. I mean, he, you know, he did some different things to it. If I was a Seahawks fan, it'd probably be like a nine and a half. Uh, but, you know, shout out to, to Lil Hugo, man. I hope everything goes well. I, I did see reports and did some research that, you know, he's not having the breakouts and things like that that he's had, like his sickness and, and things have gotten better. So, you know, uh, much love to all of those. You know, it's about six designers, six different silhouettes, and all of the shoes were pretty, you know, really creative. They had Dunk, they had an ACG, they had an Air Max. 
Um, but yeah, very creative entries from the, from those guys and the team that helped them. So um, I hope they just keep it going. You know, every year it gets a little better. Um, you know, some years it's like, okay, those are cool. Last year, I know they had the phone pods and stuff was pretty sought after for a good bit. Um, but these, I think really, you know, caught people's attention this year. Um, we didn't get any threes last year. So that's that. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you on the next one, y'all. We got a lot of things coming. Stay locked. Stay tuned to the, to the channel. I've got, man, I'm so behind on content. So many things I got to get out there to y'all, but it's on the way. All right. I'll see you on the next one, y'all. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.